Do we have Coach Tron? Lace. Yes. Okay, Coach, Hello? thanks for joining us. You hear me? Yes. Yeah, I do. We have you, Coach. Uh, USF 7-0 and overall, 3-0 and in the American. Uh, defeated UConn 38-30 to last week. Um, back in action uh, Saturday at Houston, uh, 3.30 Eastern, 2.30 Central on ABC. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on our call. If you would just take a minute to tie up the game against um, UConn, and we expect to see as you're back in action uh, Saturday at, uh, at Houston. Well, it's really good to always get a win and, uh, you know, to come in and play a tough opponent in Connecticut and then uh, just step away and get that win. Now we've got to get ready for probably one of our biggest games that we've had since we played Central Florida last season. Houston's an unbelievable uh, Unbelievable team right now. They're playing very well. You look at the team, their quarterback, he's doing a great job for them. And then you look at Oliver on the defense. And, and so we know this. Our hands are going to be full. We've got to go on the road. And what's really tough in this conference is, is going on the road to beat a team. So we know in this that we're going to – but we got to be at our best. And we know they're going to be at their best. But, you know, just really excited about the match. We'll take questions for Coach Charlie Strong, please. Star one on your telephone keypad. We'll put you in the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll first go to Leo Haggerty with It's Sports Magazine. Good afternoon, Coach. How you doing, Neil? I'm doing fine, Coach. Thanks for asking. Coach, strictly talking about on the football field, what's the biggest change you've seen since you started coaching till today? Just on the field. Yeah, or just off the field. You want to talk about on the field, not off the field. Right, not field. not well, right, not, not talking about recruiting or anything like that. Strictly on the field. Just the up tempo of the offenses now, and uh, just saying how much more you have to be aggressive on defense. But you can think about it. You know, we first started coaching. It was like three yards in a cloud of dust. You know, people was hoping to get it to third and one. You know, just give me two yards on first down. Give me two or three yards on first down. And make third down manageable, but now I mean the offenses are they are they, they can score quickly. They're up on the ball. They put so much pressure on defense now. You think about we first went into it. We probably when you first started writing, there was nothing about a nickel backer. You you would never ever put a nickel on the field. It was that you had a big old strong outside linebacker, and then you uh, just made sure that uh, you played either three deep or two deep and. And you just, it was like, uh, make sure I load the box so they can't run the ball. Makes you think now, doesn't it, Coach? <laughs> oh, it, it makes you really think now. And sometimes I wish we can go back to that. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you have a great day. Good luck in Houston. All righty. Thank you. Any other questions for Coach Strong, please? Star one on your telephone keypad, if so. Coach, let me throw the next one out if I can while we uh, see if anyone else is getting queued up. The, uh, um, as you look at polls and rankings and you see where USF is sitting around that 2021 uh, area, but in the meantime, one of only you know, uh, five teams left that's undefeated. Um, and, and in the last two years now, you're down, I think, 18-2 and two combined the last two years. Um, th- does that stuff matter to you where the ranking is now, or, do you, or do you, would you rather – um, you, I imagine as a coach, you may want to celebrate the one-point win against Tulsa just as much as you take, you know, uh, beating a team by 40 or 50. Does it, does it matter either way with any of that stuff, or are you just more focused on, uh, on what's, what's up ahead for you here? Well, it, it really, it, 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 the rankings don't really bother me because what I look at is, is that we just got to continue to play good football. And if you're good enough, you'll be where you need to be at the end of the season. Because if you get caught up with, in the rankings, you know, this early in the season, you can end up losing. Then once you lose, it's hard to get back into it. But I tell our guys all the time, okay, guys, look, it just, it's just week by week. And then uh, the thing I like, though, is just our conference. We look like we're beginning to get some respect because even with Cincinnati losing last week, we still have some really good teams in this conference, and they're very comfortable, and they play really good football. And, but I'm just excited about how we're beginning to – well, we're beginning to get people's attention across the country. And then the last thing for me, if is, um, you know, you're obviously after the start you're having now is, is one of the unbeaten's, and doing it in many ways with a roster that's, that's significantly different than what you had last year. This is in the case where you had um, you know, dozens of dozens of uh, returning starters coming in, and, and you have a lot of new people in key spots, really delivering in many ways the same results. Can you talk about the? Um, you know, how you've been able to integrate some new guys into the into the scheme and, and, and still make it make it run pretty smoothly. 
Well, you look at our roster, we are a very young football team because I look at last season and uh, last year, you graduated 23 seniors. But, well, you know, it's not so much a graduation of the seniors. You had, uh, like, uh, Quinn Flowers. You had Augie. You had guys out in that have been in the program for three or four years and have been starters. So that way you lose that group, you come in uh, with a whole, just a total roster change. And you look at our quarterback, Blake is a transfer. Our running back is a transfer. We have three freshmen in the offensive line. He has started freshmen in the defensive line, two freshmen in the secondary. So we're a young team. We're a talented team. But the thing we, uh, you always have to be missing is just that age. Because when you get in the big games and the one we go and play with Houston, you know, they're a veteran team. They've been around and they've been battle tested. We haven't been because we're still a, such a young team. Do we have any final questions for Coach Strong? Again, star one on your keypad, if so. Coach, appreciate your time, as always, today. I look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.